our uh, second week of uh, our course of history of philosophy or history of philosophy in America, we will um, modify it a little bit, uh, diversify it in my way to, uh, to present the topic in form of uh, three uh, short films, each of uh, them will have more or less uh, 15 minutes and uh, they will be um, available uh, before our meeting next uh, Tuesday uh, so that you can look at them, watch them uh, at any time, uh, uh, good for you. And it will be a kind of uh, preparation for uh, discussion uh, in class, uh, of course, online uh, on Thursday. So uh, the first um, hour on our um, uh, Zoom meeting uh, will be, uh, so to say, uh, free. Each of you will uh, be uh, able to look at, the, at that time or before at those films and the second part of our meeting in uh, online di directly with me will be dedicated already to uh, your questions, comments uh, via chat uh, and I will or developed some ideas which perhaps were too dense, too uh, short, to condense, uh, and uh, we will have time to develop them, to, to spend more time in our uh, mutual uh, understanding of, of the topic. So let us start in, in this way. Um, the general topic um, is uh, what is philosophy and this topic I divided as I said in, in three parts. The first uh, will be um, dedicated to uh, philosophy as a way of life, uh, the second what is the ancient philosophy because as you already know everything started for us in our Western civilization in uh, Greece. So this is important to dwell a little bit on, on this time of our history. And the second uh, or the third topic will be um, more uh, directly connected with our life experience, namely uh, what is philosophy today for me, I will speak for myself, but each of you could uh, uh, make a similar reflection uh, starting uh, from his or her uh, life experience. So the first, uh, the first uh, topic, philosophy as a, a way of life. Uh, on the platform uh, campus, uh, which is available uh, for everyone, you will find uh, also um, a reader, uh, my proposal for, for reading to extend uh, your knowledge. Uh, they usually, they will be uh, books or articles, uh, which uh, I used as a departure point for my own reflection. Uh, but uh, as you know, uh, there are so many books, as many readers, so my own reading is of course my subjective reading, but everyone, if you have time and then you really will uh, be uh, interested in, in developing certain ideas, uh, what, uh, which I am going to, to to mention now, you can you can go to, to read this book entitled exactly uh, Philosophy as a Way of Life. Um, the author uh, is uh, not an American author, but nevertheless his uh, books are translated into English and are available in English, so this is why I send it to, 
on um, our platform. His name is Pierre Ado, Pierre Ado, the French historian of philosophy, who was a uh, say traditional old style professor of philosophy, of ancient uh, philosophy. But uh, it, after many years of writing, uh, uh, teaching, uh, discussing, uh, he discovered that instead of multiplying uh, titles, names, schools, uh, you know, all this uh, rich uh, encyclopedic uh, knowledge, is good to look at um, philosophy as a, a certain type of human activities as a, a way of life, um, modus vivendi in, in Latin. Uh, and I think uh, he uh, touched a, a very important point because uh, way of life means that everybody could uh, um, find uh, elements which connect you with the past because everyone has a certain uh, way of life so um, uh, when we look at the philosophy what is philosophy is a way of life so it means that uh, each text which each biography events uh, discussions between uh, philosophers is seen as a way to express your life. And uh, since he was an expert of um, uh, Greek philosophy, of course, in his book, uh, uh, which you can read, you can find a lot of uh, different styles of life, schools, uh, masters, um, proponents of, of different way of life. But what is very, very important is that philosophy and the way how we approach this topic has to do more with practice, with doing, with deeds, than with words. Uh, in, uh, in other words, uh, our way to approach this topic, you are listening now, or perhaps you will go to read Ado book, uh, uh, Philosophy as a Way of, of Life, is only a departure point and only a starting point to, to really um, understand what philosophy really is. And this is why he analyzed, you know, different schools, which is for the moment not so important for us. But uh, please keep in mind that uh, for all Greeks, uh, start, uh, being philosopher or to learn how to be a philosopher was uh, basically a way to be introduced in a very specific way of life. And one of this uh, way of life is spiritual exercises. Spiritual exercises. It, it sounds very strange, perhaps, but philosophically at all, but um, it is uh, important to uh, keep in mind that only those who enter in certain um, type of living, style of living could apprehend a certain type of uh, uh, philosophy. So way of life means that I uh, practice certain uh, specific uh, order of day, that I cultivate a certain values. Um, and a good example used, by the way, also by uh, Ado, but also by many others, is um, a recent example of spiritual exercises. 
uh, namely invented, so to say, or remembered in, in the 16th century by a founder of a religious order, uh, Ignatius of Loyola. Uh, perhaps some of you um, met already this small booklet, Spiritual Exercises, but this is a very a good uh, example what uh, or illustration of what uh, Ado, Pierre Ado or myself, what we have in mind when we say that um, uh, philosophy is first of all exercising, doing, lay, uh, to learn by doing, by practicing. And what, uh, why is so important on the beginning of our course to, to remind you uh, about this uh, daily life practice that in the last centuries, starting perhaps exactly from the time of Renaissance, uh, but also in, in Enlightenment, in 19th century, uh, 20th century, Philosophy became a basically an academic discipline, uh, reading, uh, analyzing, comparing. It means that we lost something which was typical of older schools of philosophizing. In other words, it was not important what you read, how you understand the text, how you live, how, how uh, your daily life looks like, which kind of, uh, I don't know, friends do you have, which kind of circles you've on and so on. This is very important. And also, uh, probably most of you, when you hear the word conversion, you think in religious uh, terms. Uh, conversion means to turn the heart, your mind to God. No, conversion in this philosophical sense means that I convert, means that I turn toward certain direction which I will make my so uh, philosophy as a way of life means that I start to shape, to um, uh, construct uh, my uh, daily routine according to values which I discovered as my so conversation, con to convert to change, to, to modify it. And it, with, with this problem of, of conversion uh, is strongly uh, undermined by uh, Ado, but also by many leaders of these different schools that uh, we are um, uh, discovering the way how to be happy is perhaps the key word of this uh, understanding of philosophy as a way way of life. So, what is it? What it is a philosophy? Philosophy is a way of life. Is a very basic notion, very simple one. But if you try. Uh, philosophizing this way, you will discover that it's not uh, simple and easy at, uh, as it looks like, because it means that you can, that you have to introduce in your life a discipline, that you have to introduce in your life uh, uh, as per, uh, a certain um, order. Uh, so to be a philosopher uh, basically means to uh, uh, find a very uh, straight way which helps you to construct 
your life as meaningful. So uh, after this 15 minutes, I hope that is uh, for you clear what it means uh, philosophy as a way of life.